Hi, Beauty and Curls. It is Melissa Q. A welcome back. If you are new, welcome in the first place. And if you're an OG, you know how we roll. I wanted to make update two for Project Pan Finish 7 by Fall. I wanted to make it a little bit different. And so I am showing you how you can start your own Project Pan. And I'm also giving updates to what I'm currently using. I can show you better than I can tell you. Yes, y'all know how we roll and we're saving $10,000. I do have a Let's Save 10K playlist. I'll link it over here. We have a couple of things that's going on and because I am on a buying freeze, any of the products currently that I see, I will be probably doing a review and kind of like comparing and swatching. I've been doing the game of tones, but now that the season is over, we're going to take a little spin until the season comes back. Then we will go and continue that series but we still gonna get the job done so today's video I'm going to be showing you progress on my seven items and I'm going to show you how to start your own project pan maybe some tips and showing you what items you can incorporate in your everyday routine that helps you figure out if you love it or if you want to declutter it or if you just get tired of it because sometimes in project fans you get tired of an item and you can use other items so hope you guys enjoyed this and let's just jump right in I'll show you how I incorporate my products that I have currently in my project pan with my everyday look and this is also a guide if you want to start a project pan it is not hard at all I think a lot of times we think too much about something and then we don't end up doing it because we feel like it's too it has it takes too much effort but I just want to show you your everyday products are the things that you should use in your project pan and if you're starting a project pan this is the way that you want to go so the first thing I use is moisturizer. You can put skincare products in Project Pan. It just does not have to be makeup. As a matter of fact, I have a Project Pan for natural hair that's coming up. So look for that. But we're going to start off with moisturizer. And the first one, because I told you a lot of things that I don't buy anymore is SPF because I have a ton of it. And this is the L'Oreal Revitalift. I'm almost done. I think I'll be done with this this week. I am filming this on a Monday. I don't know if you guys know that I pre-film. So I guess this is kind of like going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me because I'm also going to be updating you on and including pictures in this video of my project pan items. So when I'm pressed for time, I use the pure Hydra Lift Gel, Eye Gel or Eye Hydra Gel Lift. And I just put it under my eyes like this. It absorbs pretty quickly because it's a gel rather than a cream so my concealer is not going to shift as much but I'm gonna take a couple of minutes a uh, couple of seconds to let that absorb and I'm gonna work on my brows so the next thing I'm using is an eye pencil now this is not in my project pan but I'm just showing you when you use things every day those are the things that you want to put in a project pan because you're gonna have a successful one based upon using things every single day Okay, so the next thing we can use is concealer. I'm going to use this to clean up my brows, but I can also use this under my eyes, which I'm probably going to do. This is a product that's getting old that I want to use up. So I'm going to use this on my brows. You can use this on your lid. You can use this for spot concealing. So definitely concealer is something that you can. I go through concealers fast, but that's definitely something that you can go through fast as well if you use it in different ways. Okay. So this is just my everyday color corrector. And this one is from the drugstore. It's one of my favorite. And I've hit pan and I'm almost done with this. This is probably like my fourth pot of this. And this is the NYX. It has coconut water in it. So it's very hydrating under my eyes. And I want to put this on first because the... because the foundation that I'm putting on, I don't know if I'll need a concealer because it is full coverage. I can just use it under my eyes and I won't be using a primer. Now, usually if I wanted to go for some hydration, 
but the pro but the foundation currently that I have in my project pan I am not using with a, a face primer okay so the first item that I have in my project pan y'all seen the all day weightless luminous I'm gonna mark it where it is now uh, just because I have to wait for it to settle I've made little progress on this and it's just because I've been using other foundations and y'all I gotta get on it so I'm putting on a beauty blender or uh, this is my pure sponge and I'm just gonna dot it places this spreads very well I don't know I might need a concealer I'm not sure but we're gonna see I've just been loving this without a primer though I have the Hangover RX, so I use this with a different foundation, but this is in my project pan. I've done remarkable on this. I think I'm going to be done with this by the end of the finale. palette I have my vanity palette by what is this by wet and wild and I also have my mica beauty this is an eye primer I've realized that I really don't need to buy any other eye primer anymore just because I have Mac paint pot I have this I have made a dent in this as you can tell you see the little hole I'm gonna work on that little air bubble because I feel like I can hit pan by just concentrating it in that area. But we're gonna prime our eyes. And now we're gonna set with this other um, eyeshadow. Hopefully I can hit pan by the finale. I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush to go ahead and set. I'm happy to say that I am done with this because y'all it is so messy and I tried to like scrape <laughs> and I'm gonna need a lesson on repressing product but it's not this Areas. I'm done with that but I have incorporated this one which I've already hit pan on as well this is my Sasha press powder and buttercup so I'm gonna use this to set my under eye so excited I told you I get through setting powders really quickly so that's good to know next we're going to bronzer and I have made considerable product I mean progress on my benefit hula so I'm just gonna take it 
And I love this pointed blush brush. I got this in a boxy charm. This is Pink Swoon by MAC. This already hit pan and as well. Yes. I can use this as an eyeshadow too if I wanted to. But I don't want to today because I already have it. Finally, we're going to use a setting spray. This is not really a setting spray. It's just going to leave me refreshed and dewy. This is the facial spray with aloe by Mario Vestescu. I'm almost done with this. I definitely could have pulled this into a project pan, but I use it anyway. Put products like this in your project pan. It's going to motivate you to finish up the other ones because you're seeing progress on another of your products that you use anyway. So that's just a plus. So I'm in my waterline. Oh, this mascara. I should have waited for it to dry. Oh my God, I look. And I remember this mascara doing this to me, but forgot. So let's correct that. So see in your project pans, you can figure out items that you don't like. And I remember that one doing that on me, but forgetting because I haven't used it in a while. So I am going to declutter that from my collection. And I would have never known if I didn't put it into like incorporate it every day into this video. I just wanted to give you a twist to my update too. But for the finale, we have one more month. I think I'm going to make some progress now that I really have these in front of me all the time. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next video.